What's up guys, this is Dim, and today we're going to be doing a video on how to get the default Blizzard UI, which you see here, to look like what my UI looks like in all the videos. It seems like that was the most popular question in my comments of the videos for both the Q&A and the general videos itself, so I wanted to take the time and show you guys how to get the UI to look at least aesthetically like what my UI looks like. Fortunately for you, there's an add-on pack called LUI that makes things so simple. And it's pretty much everything is done for you. So we're going to go ahead and walk through that process now. As you can see here, this is the complete bare bones Blizzard UI. I do not have any add-ons installed whatsoever. This is completely vanilla. And I actually installed this on, I actually copied a second version of WoW to my computer so that we can do this for the sake of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and pop to my desktop. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the LUI main page. And from here, they have forums. They have a place where you can donate to the authors. A little bit of a credits page for the authors. And then also the download link. So the download link will actually take you to the WoW interface page where the authors keep the add-on up to date. And this is also the repository where you would want to download from. So we'll go ahead and click download. And this is also a place where you can support LUIv3 through WoW interface, and they get a chunk of it. From there, this varies on your browser, but you have to open the zip file. In Chrome, you just click it, and it comes right up with whatever you're associated with. Uh, I use WinRAR. Windows also has stuff built in. The next thing you want to do is open up your WoW folder. Now listen, this is important. LUI is a major add-on pack. It's going to change everything. The best way to do this, and I can't stress this enough, is to start completely fresh. So, there's two things you need to do. On your interface folder and your WTF folder, what we're going to do is rename them to old. Now, this will kill your settings completely. Don't worry. It's, it's okay. <laughs> um, but there are configuration settings for if you had other add-ons that were lingering. Uh, they're contained inside the WTF folder and any add-ons you had installed are in your interface folder. However, if you don't like LUI or something goes wrong, you have an ability to go right back. So you have a little bit of redundancy in there and that way you're not down too long. So here's what you got to do. Right click interface, go to rename, and we'll just name everything underscore old. And then same thing with WTF folder. We're going to right click. We're going, oops, we are going to right click. Rename, and we're going to go underscore old. Hit OK. Now we're ready to install. We're ready to start fresh. This is going to be like a brand new WoW client again. Even though this was a, a fresh one for me, it's not fresh for you guys. So this is what we're going to go ahead and do. Then you take the interface folder. You don't want to expand it because, as you can see, this is the folder structure. So don't do that. Just keep it on interface. And what you're going to do is you're going to extract it to your World of Warcraft folder right at the root. So when you extract it, make sure you just highlight World of Warcraft. The interface folder and all its subfolders will pop down where it's supposed to go. If you want to, make sure, and I think you should, just go back to your WoW folder, and you'll see that there's now a new interface folder there. That's got all your LUI stuff. The WTF folder will be recreated when we log back in, and all the settings will populate. Don't worry about the keybinds and stuff, because it's going to change anyway, because uh, LUI uses not the Blizzard uh, action bar, it uses Bartender 4, so it's a separate uh, keybind setup anyway, so you're not really losing too much there, aside from your other add-on configurations, but a lot of those get skinned with LUI anyway that you're going to want, so you're good to go. So, the one last thing that I wanted to point out for you before we go back into the game is... For other add-ons, and I'm not going to really go into too many of them, what I have and what I use, because a lot of them are aesthetics. I go to curse.com, and curse is kind of like the repository for um, pretty much uh, add-ons for quite a long time for me. Um, so I trust them. I really like the guys. And you can you have two ways of going about doing this. You can either go the long manual hard way, or you can download the curse client, which is what I personally use. So I have it installed here, and what you can do with this installed client, and as you see, I do have the second version of World of Warcraft installed, which is this one with nothing there. You can actually install add-ons directly from here, 
Uh, not the add-on pack. Don't do the add-on pack this way. But if you want to do other ones, like the big name ones, Deadly Boss Month, DBM, don't use Recount because Recount is included with LUI. But uh, if you have other stuff, uh, Auctioneer, Trade Skill Master, uh, Addy Bags. Addy Bags is the bag uh, add-on that I use to sort via uh, grouping. These are all downloaded here, and all you have to do is click one click. Once you map the profile to where your WoW install is, you click install, load the game, and your add-on's ready to go. It's a big help. Plus, it'll also periodically check for updates, so when the author updates it, it'll let you know right away. It's awesome. So anyway, let's go back into the game, and we're going to configure LUI. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. So you can see that it now has reset everything, and it thinks that it's a fresh install again. But this time we have the add-on, so we're going to go ahead and accept the uh, EULA, the terms of use, and it'll let us connect. Okay, unfortunately you do have to go through this Suggest Realm, let it just connect you, and then change to the realm that you want, that your character is a part of, that you want to configure. In my case it's Staghelm, and we're going to do my Paladin. Now first, what you want to do is you want to go to the Add-ons tab over here, and you'll see that the package actually has ones that are listed out of date. Don't worry about it. These add-ons work. It's fine. It's just that when they do subversions, like the 5.4.7 patch that was released just recently, it'll Blizzard will say that it's out of date. Don't worry. They work. Go ahead and hit load out of date add-ons. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and log in. Now, you'll see the first login will take a little bit of time because there's it's loading the extra add-ons for the first time. And it's creating all the uh, LUA files, the Lua which are configuration files for these add-ons. But now we're in-game, and you can see here that I still have, for the most part, standard-looking blizzard, blizzard action bars. But you notice that there is a little bit of trim here, and the bar is up top. <clears throat> so stuff has already happened. There's also a giant button here. Click Install. And what this is actually doing is it's fin finalizing the install, custom UI, and there you go. Hey, this looks like the add-on in my videos or my interface. It's that easy to get uh, to get the basic configuration. There's a lot more that you can do with this. It's a super powerful add-on pack. But to go to this is pretty much the appearance of what my add-ons look or what my interface looks like. And as you can see, it gives you your basic information up top. You have your action bars automatically that are filtered down to um, from the Blizzard action bars down to the bartender bars. And you have some pop out panels, which you can add to. Uh, you can actually configure bartender bars to go in there. This is the this is the one thing that I'm not a big fan of, and it's not their fault. Most of the bag mods do the same thing. I don't like the all-in-one bag, so I definitely would recommend replacing it with Addy bags, but that's up to you. Uh, if you like, the, some people like this all-in-one uh, look. Not for me, but as you can see, everything's been reskinned. The color of this, uh, by default, gets set to the class color. So this is a paladin. It's pink. Uh, you know, your mage will be blue. Warlock is purple. So on and so forth. You you know what the class colors are. All this rep replaces the blizzard bar that you no longer have down here. So you have your character spell book, so on and so forth, your pet journal. The one main change is where the options are that you would have on your action bar. You now have LUI option panels with a left click, the blizzard one with a right click that you're used to. And this will bring you to the LUI action frame or the LUI configuration. And from here is where you can really click around and can make this your own. I kind of like how most of the stuff is, so I really don't change much. Um, you can change the unit frames, the colors. If I want to change the color, say I want the yellow for rogues. Boom. I have a yellow interface. So I want red for death knight. And that's, that's the coloring that you can, you know, you could change some texture colors. I wouldn't screw around with that if I were you, unless you really know what you're doing. This is basic. This will show you all the modules and stuff that you have. So this is, this will show you your auras. If you do decide you want to change the bag mod, you can just simply uh, uncheck that. You reload the UI, it won't come back. <clears throat> Here are your standard, um, your bars, how you, you know, this will configure the, the textures of them. And also, mainly, what you would do here is whether or not you want them to man. If you uncheck this, the blizzard bars will come back. 
if you uncheck this or if you change this around the the font will look different um your swing timer your threat threat bar your unit frames if you want to move around your unit frames which is a big one they give you a button right here you push and look you now you see all the unit frames that they have set up with you know your boss arena the player so if i move my player frame to here boom look it's all the way over there it's that simple it's that easy I could go further and further into this, but I'm not going to. I wanted to keep this short and sweet and how to do the massive over overhauls. Now what you can do is just layer your stuff on top of it. So, for example, um, some key ones are, you know, Deadly Boss Mods, Auctioneer, Trade Skill Master, whatever you guys use, you can put on top of it. Just be careful. Don't use the one. Don't replace the add-ons that are already there with the add-on pack. So, for example, Bartender or Omen, because then you will have configuration issues and it, you, you'll just run into problems. Don't do it. But this has been Dim. This is how you get my UI on your computer. I hope you like it. I hope it was helpful to you. If you liked it, push that like button. Click subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at DimDoes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you in Azeroth. Bye.